Germany, the final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason, to retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission.
the engine car. Better hurry. The map said these tracks are going to split. Of course they are. Got at. Might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but you won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the brakes. All we have is a name. Phoenix. Oh, so we've got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! <laughs> Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists to hit the crowds fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan.
sniper! Move it! Everyone inside! Smoke! God damn it, I can't see! Coming up off! Watch out! It's a hell of a party. Looks like they left in a hurry. Phoenix, we must be close. Not for long. Crowds are moving their stash onto a sub. You see that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the crowds kept them here, in the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah. That's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three, take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, no back here with me. We'll take the boat. Let's go. Cover us! We're going aboard! 
Good luck, kids. I'll find us a way out of here. There's the hatch. This is it, lads. Let's find that crate and get out of here. <laughs> Richard, watch on back. No back. You take the lead. I'm straight ahead. <laughs> Now, no back, help me. Delightful, yeah. You think you're British? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> oh. Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your street. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself. To be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a 
counter. Dispose of that. Put the rest in the truck. Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him and on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. <laughs> Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Against Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up. Hook in. Stand by.
Thunder! Thunder! Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crown. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we had till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? The sun-up's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. Hey, you two scrapping or who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. Get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Keep low. Watch that truck. We have an opportunity here. Stay quiet and get close. Multiple targets. We've got options, Sergeant.
Transport. Who remembers how to drive a blitz? I got it, sir. <laughs> Nazi gunfort. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Bloody hell. They're waiting at the table up here. How's it looking, Sergeant? Let's see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. The wall is. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bear the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch, at least. Well? I love it. I think you should go first. <laughs> All right, then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you? Get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up.
Ready on the door, just waiting on you, boss. You take the lower case, mates. I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up, Sarge. All the way, boys, this is it. You're on me. All right. Try and get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Up of you. With me. while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. <coughs> Bloody hell. Up ahead now. Look at that fucking monster. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I can use your help here.
Where? Let's get up top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out! Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! Fucking fucking joke! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Get coming! Get down! Where's the ropes flare? Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! <laughs> to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boys, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could, by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else, and report directly to me. Al Hitler. Ich 
Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag der Bewegt dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, the eggs is all ready. Da, it's because of the car. Your vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned the Project Phoenix. Protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But there are other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herita. I understand. Thank you. So, 